Good evening my friends, how are you? I hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. As usual, we have to start the video by showing our results in the premium group signals. And again, I'm really happy with these results. What we are seeing here is these messages that Angela have received from the clients and we can see they are really happy. I have picked some of the messages here which are really awesome. We can see this guy is happy with the results and we can see it's all in profit and he's really happy with the results. Uh, this guy as well showing us he have made really good profit and all of them are take profit one because some people are getting confused about the three take profits. And this guy decided that he, have, he, he will take only take profit one and we can see even using that all of them are in profit. By the way, when you are joined the premium signals group, you will get uh, a video where I am explaining in a brief how to deal with all the three levels of take profits. So again, he is doing very well by only taking take profit one. And this guy as well, uh, he sent to Angela saying, thanks today was my first day to trade with the signals and it gave me $60 without loss. And she asked him if it's real account and he said yes. That is really good and I'm very proud of Angela's performance seeing these results. And here again, we can see another member saying he's really happy. Your signals are very good. Yesterday I made a lot of profit and all of them are, uh, are really good. And this one here as well saying, Angela, what, is a, what an incredible results. Six out of seven signals I received this morning posted uh, in profit except for GPP, JPY. And by the way, that message was sent early in the morning because GPP, JPY is currently going in profit with about 20 pips and that is really good again. And yeah, I'm very happy with the results. I'm very happy and proud of Angela's performance. But I have to mention also that I have to be fair here. Yesterday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday was really, really bad. The market went against us, but there is a reason for that. Allow me to show you. Yesterday we had losses with the pound. Uh, the pound has really went against us big time and it is not Angela's fault, it is not our fault at all. It is because Mr. Boris Johnson has announced the suspension of the UK Parliament and that is the reason why the pound has fallen down so deep. It was not because of bad analysis, it was not because of Angela's fault at all. It is not uh, because of anything, only because of the unexpected news and nobody can blame us for that. It just happened out of the blue. Nobody expected this to be happened. And that's why the pound has went against us. But today there was no any unexpected news and therefore the results are really awesome. So you really have to be careful when you are trading the signals. Using the signals is not guaranteed profit. You need to be careful and pay attention to the trade. And you have to be f uh, aware of the market uh, announcements or news and whatever. Even if we give you the signal, if there is unexpected news happened, it's not our fault. You cannot blame us. And by the way, not every day will be as good as this day. Some days will be really bad and you have to prepare for these days. Again, it's not our fault what's happening. Sometimes the, the pair will have some bad news on it and it will just go against us. That's why you have to prepare for that. Don't enter big lot. Enter with a reasonable amount of uh, money in your trade and just prepare for the losses. So again, I'm really proud and happy for Angela's performance and I wish her and the clients are uh, the best of luck always. Please, if you are wish to join the premium group, you can contact Angela. You can find her link in the description of the video. Contact her today so you can join us with the uh, premium group signals. So let's go now to the main topic of this video, which is live trading. And now I'm going to use hit and run strategy instead of the 20 pips a day. Uh, let me show you something here on the four hour chart on the CAD CHF. I can see that I am approaching a resistance here, which was in the past a support right here. And we can see this bearish breakout candle from the support. So this is actually a good level for the resistance. And with this uh, reversal here, we can see that we already have resistance number one. And now uh, resistance number two is being performed. So go to the 15 minute time frame. Oh, yeah, exactly. That is the right level to place my trade. And just let me explain the reason why. It's because we can see that here on the left, here, we can see that we had this resistance right here and right here. And later, these two resistance levels 
has been have been followed by this bearish breakout as well so this resistance is now supposed to keep its position as a resistance again and if I want to exit my trade hopefully with a profit I should I should do it now at the nearest support or resistance which is right here and uh, let me see how many pips is that almost six pips that's not really bad from uh, for a scalping session so uh, the idea that you need to check the four hour chart to know where is your location or where is your current level in the, ch in the chart if you are on a support you need to look for the buy orders if you are on a resistance you need to look for the sell orders and right now I'm on a resistance and that's why I was looking only for the sell orders and I'm thinking to uh, increase my take profit level to be a little bit like that uh, almost nine pips you can see the candle going up a little bit but that's not the problem at all uh, in the end I think it's going down it's gonna reverse and there is a chance it might go up to match this level of the previous resistance right here sorry let me be accurate more uh, to make it almost exactly so the candle might go up a little bit again a little bit against me but I don't think it will break from this level right here now let me look for uh, another uh, possible setup I think it's important to explain to you the reason why I'm skipping uh, these setups okay let's go back now this one here uh, on the four hour chart for the cat GPY now I am currently on the arranging market so I'm not really on a resistance or a support level that's why I don't think this setup is good at all that's why I'm actually skipping it uh, CHFGPY why did I skip this one because right now I am indeed on a support but it's gonna be a little, a little bit risky because we have here this long wick here representing as a support number one and this one here support number two and you know my rules that we don't enter uh, any support level more than the second one so a support number three is really not that uh, good and it might be a little bit risky uh, let's do something here let's go to the three to the 50 minute time frame and see it more in action we can see that we had actually several attempts uh, right here on this level we had here this one two three and right now I'm on the fourth attempt and again uh, this is against the hit and run rules this one here is also a ranging market we can see that trend is ranging here and the market is just bouncing and it's not really clear if you are on a support or a resistance that's the reason I'm skipping most of these setups and I want to find something that is really clearly I can tell that I'm on a support or a resistance uh, Eurocad we can see that right now I am on a second attempt of the support and I am also on the four hour chart we can see that we had this resistance has been later become the new support so this is support number one and right now support number two is being performed now this might be a good idea but let's check something go to the 15 minute time frame and take a look at it a uh, 15 minute time frame is showing that we had attempt number one two and three happened already so what you will do here are you going to place your buy order on a support number four that's a big no that's against my strategy that's why I'm telling you uh, you have to look at your setup or level on the four hour chart and then go to the 15 minute time frame to decide if you should enter this setup or not now let's see this one um, the euro CHF I'm right now on the resistance level uh, but this one seems to be like a fake breakout especially that we are on the four hour chart sorry for our chart go to the 50 minute time frame and again that's not really convenient because we can see that we had attempt number one two and three happened already so entering that one is really not my style this one however what we can see here this is the thread I have entered this is the cat CHF uh, this is the one I have entered what we can see here is on the 50 minute time frame I am on the first attempt of this resistance because this is 
a breakout from the level. So this is the resistance before, but has after the breakout, you know, the breakout is resetting all the the resistance attempts. That's why this one I think is a good one. And also in the four hour chart, it is uh, the second attempt of the resistance. So that's why I like this one. And I feel like uh, this was a good setup to enter. <coughs> so let's keep going. Let's keep moving. And right now the market is not really giving me much setups. Let me go back to the pound. Um, we need to find something. We need to find something. Okay. If you cannot find something on the four hour chart, what you can do is switch to the one hour chart. And from there you can look again. Hopefully you can find something. That is what you can do actually. The idea is you need to look at the bigger time frame then switch to the smaller time frame. Now the pound CAD, GPP CAD, I can see that I have here uh, this bullish breakout followed by this support number one and right now the candle is at the support number two. I can look for a small reversal for buy option. Go to the 15 minute time frame. Um, it's all right. It's all right. I place my buy order. Uh, the reason is we had here this support number one and again, this whole reversal is representing as a support number two. So this is actually not bad uh, entry. <coughs> now, let me explain to you something. If this trade will go against me and if the pound will continue to go more down, what is the procedure? What is next? What can I do? How can I decide that this will be a lost trade? And what, I'm, uh, what is the thing I'm going to do? Let me explain to you. You have two options. When you see this trade going against you, don't decide at all that it's a loss unless you see the candle completely break out from this level and not only that, but should be close as a breakout candle. Uh, this candle still has six minutes of its lifetime and you need to wait for it to close before you decide what's your next step. If you see the candle closes, for example, like that from the level, so it's breaking from the level breaking the support as a breakout candle and close like that. So in this case, you can close your trade with the loss. Instead of using stop loss, just do that. Option number two, that if you see this happen, you can now look at the chart, <coughs> look at the chart and take a look at where is the next reversal might occur. So if the candle will break from this level, and it closes as a breakout candle, you still have a chance for another reversal on the next support level. Now, this is very risky style and you really don't want to do it unless you are sure on the four hour chart and even on daily chart that there is a possibility for a reversal. Other than that, just accept the losses and close the trade with a loss after you see the candle closed as a breakout. Um, <clears throat> let's continue and see. Let me see this one. Uh, GPP, JPY right now is on a support level right here like that. Now, let me tell you that this because you are on the four hour chart. So each candle is counted. So this reversal here is a support number one. And right now the market is performing support number two. And let me go now to the 50, 50 minute time frame to see that. Uh, this is might be risky here because we had here already attempt number one, two, and three. So, uh, sorry, three. So, do you really want to place buy order here? Mm, no, that's going to be risky and you don't want to do that. That's the whole idea of hit and run. It's just not, it's just not like you can find any setup anytime you want. You need to wait for the right time and the right, right moment for the right setup to approach. Here we can see, oh my God, that was a good setup we have missed. Uh, we can see clearly that this was a support level has become later the new resistance. So this resistance is represented by a resistance number one. And right now the market is exactly on the same level showing the resistance number two. Uh, there is the reversal has already happened, but let's go to the 15 minute time frame and see it more in action. Uh, okay, we have this bearish breakout candle now. That is good, and it's approaching this previous support. 
So this actually might be a good time. Let's see it, 30 minute time frame, five minute time frame. Yes. Now this is what the the good thing about it and run. You find your level on the bigger time frame, then you decide your entry on the smaller time frame. Now see here on the 15 minute time frame. I really cannot see much. I can see just the bearish breakout candle, but I can't see any resistance level that I can refer to. So what I did is simply go to the five minute time frame, even the smaller time frame. And now I can see the hidden picture. I can see that here we had a small resistance. And after that, it has been followed by this bearish breakout candle. So this resistance is going to keep its position as a resistance right here. So this is the resistance number one right now, because again, uh, the breakout candle is resetting the resistance or the attempts counts. So since I have placed my trade right here, I will exit at the next nearest uh, support. And of course, the nearest support in this scenario is right here. You can tell me it's right here. You are right, but that is really not. It's almost nothing like five pips only. And I'm aiming bigger pips uh, in this video. So let me see it right here. Uh, almost seven pips. It's OK. Uh, how many dollars? Fifteen dollars should be in profit. OK, let's go on back now and check the first thread. Oh, OK. As I told you, uh, this is the cat CHF, the first thread. And you can see it, it's going a little bit against me. But it's also, as I told you, it's not exceeding this level of the resistance which I have drawn earlier. Let me delete the old one. So the candle, I'm expecting it to never exceed this level of the resistance or this one here. We can see the candle is going to reverse and will hit our take profit, hopefully. Let's go to the next one, see what was going on with this one here. Uh, the market is still reversing here. Uh, still, there is almost one and a half minutes before this candle close. I will decide if I will close this trade with a loss after I see what will gonna happen with the price action, how this candle will close, in what, what shape it will close at. This one is reversing and going in our direction as well. So let's continue searching. I will go back to the one hour chart and try to find a decent setup which I can uh, trust. Uh, <clears throat> how about this one here? Yeah. Exactly. So let me just tell you what happened here. Now, what I saw here is a very simple, uh, and remember I'm on the one hour chart. So on one hour chart, I can see that we had here this support level uh, has been later, has become later a resistance after this bearish breakout. And again, the market is going up, breaking this previous resistance. And now it's retesting the level of the support. Now, the thing is, you need to understand that this support is going to keep its position, but not for so long. It might reverse uh, just a little bit only until it hit this previous resistance. So there is a chance that this candle is not going to close like that. It might close or not. Sorry, it will close now, actually. Look at that. The candle now is about to close. So the, the next candle, there is a chance that the next candle will be actually full uh, blue candle. Or, or full green candle, just like that. So the idea here that this candle, the red one, it could not close below this support level, which is giving you the good opportunity for a good uh, bullish reversal here, and the market might start to go a little bit more up here. So where is my take profit will be, as I said, on this resistance like that. So we are looking at six pips of profit. And remember, hit and run is all about scalping. You are only scalping the market, so you cannot really expect a huge profits uh, as the 20 pips a day strategy. Look at this. Now, this is how the candle closed uh, for the for the GBP CAD. And let me tell you, this candle here, that is not a breakout candle. You cannot say that this candle is breaking out from this level. That's not how it works. Actually, it is part of the support level here. Also, on the left side, what do we see here? Look at the left. We can see that here we are right now on a previous support right here. I'm on the 15 minute time frame. Remember that. So 
this support is a strong level because a strong level as a support because we can see it kept the position as a support here and now sorry or later it became uh, a resistance then we had this bullish breakout candle and later on it's now it's now gonna be a new support and you can see the market already reversing and going up that's the beautiful beautiful thing about my strategy when you see the candle going against you don't rush and decide it's a loss look at that the candle is going up the market is going up some people who maybe they just don't like to risk too much money what he will do he will set his stop loss, his stop loss right here so he will say i don't want to lose more than five pips on this trade and what will gonna happen the candle will hit the, that's your stop loss and then it will continue to go more up and in the end you just lost money for no reason because you don't know how the market is reacting to these support and resistance levels so anyway now we have these four running trades uh, I will wait for them to see what will gonna happen uh, I believe I should enter one more trade to show you uh, how simple and uh, easy hit and run is so I'm just trying to find some other setup <coughs> Does the strategy itself is really easy, but you just need to understand that you need time to find the right setups and the right moments to enter. So it's just a patient game here. Okay, let's see this one. I don't really like it, but we can see that we are on a very strong resistance level on the one hour chart. Let me see that on the four hour chart. Mm, no. Because we checked this one already, and we had so many attempts of the resistance on this level, that's why I really don't prefer to enter this one here. So I will just skip on it. Checking another pairs. I don't think I can find uh, so much setups right here. Uh, I think maybe we will just uh, have enough with these uh, three trades. Let's see this one. What's happening with the with the GBP CAD? It's going a little bit down, and we can expect that the market can reverse. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, and then it's gonna reverse. Yeah, look at that. The candle now is wrenching on this level. Uh, I believe it's gonna reverse and go up. But we have, we just need to wait and give it some more time before we decide anything. So I think we will just have enough with these four trades for this session because I cannot really find anything right now. GPPCHF, no. GPY, it's on a support level, 15 minute time frame. Um, it's actually on a support level and it's going up. Now allow me to tell you that this really has nothing to do with the uh, hit and run. It's just a just a good setup that I need to enter because I think it's really good. Uh, I have to tell you what happened here. Um, let's see this one here. We had this support. Uh, actually, I'm not sure what to say because this is not hit and run. So it might be a little bit tricky to explain to you what happened here. Uh, we can see the support here and here. We can see so many attempts of the support. And what I can see here is this price action represented by these three candles usually this is good for telling me that there is a reversal and the market should actually go up because now the market now is ranging on this support level you can see that we had this red candle followed by blue then red usually the 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 how can i say that what's happening usually after that is you are going to have a fourth uh, blue candle not only that, but go to the 15 minute time frame. We can see the rejection here happened. Look at that. We can see that we had one, two, three, four tiny small candles uh, representing bearish momentum. So they are just a small candle, especially the last one. Look at that. The last one is a reversed hammer indicating that this uh, bearish momentum is getting weaker. And the current candle, however, is really stronger than the last three candles and it's just it just went up right like that and went up all the way to this resistance so this uh, momentum here the the bullish momentum is very strong yeah i'm sorry this one has nothing to do with the head and run i just had to enter this trade just to get more money but let's focus on the la on the other uh, four trades which are using 
hit and run they are going uh, good in profit so far so my friends allow me now to pause the video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these five trades so we can see right now we are going in profit uh, USDCHF going in our uh, favor this one you can see is going uh, up the GPP JPY uh, GPP CAD also going, going up really uh, very good almost four pips so far uh, this one since I'm not using really hit and run uh, I might close it actually with the profit but I will just give it some more time to see what we can get from this trade uh, I'm thinking if I should close the other one uh, let's better wait and see what will gonna happen hopefully we can get more money from these setups so let me now pause the recording again and I'll be back to, to you to show you the profits okay so let me tell you that we are going in good position um, USDCHF already going in uh, 6.3 pips of profit let me close it with the profit good uh, this one however I think I will keep it running because the pound seems to be uh, showing really strong bullish momentum this week or sorry this day and the others are going also in profit this one was going like in barely five pips of profit I think it will be better if we find more setups to be honest with you I'm intending to reach this account to four hundred dollars in this video so let me try to find something better so I can uh, enter front of you to show you how we can actually make this profit from the small or from the like 20 to 30 minutes of uh, scalping now let's see on the AUD USD what I can see here on the AUD USD on the one hour chart that I am on the resistance level right now and this level this resistance was also a support in the past so this is good go to the 15 minute time frame and immediately place you oh sorry my lot size is getting really huge the GBP card also is going down oh wow it changed that <laughs> I was going in $20 profit now it's uh, on 35 I think something happened to the CAD sorry not the CAD I meant the, the pound something happened to the pound seems like there is some news I believe or something wow oh okay let's hold on just don't rush let's wait and see what will gonna happen that's why the pound is really risky sometimes you might enter the trade you might send the signal but some unexpected news might happen I need to actually check the news but I want to see how the candle is reacting to this level uh, okay this is really interesting to see this happening in this live trading video okay wow still we can notice something the candle is not able to break from the previous support here okay let's see look at it it's trying to break from this support it's not able to okay that's interesting let's just wait and see what will gonna happen I will not pause the, the video I want you to see what will gonna happen how can we react to this to this kind of uh, uh, events or incidents sorry okay let's see I'm just waiting for the candle to see what will gonna happen with it don't rush and decide to close the trade in loss just wait and see what will gonna happen sometimes the market might do that actually I need I need to check the news just one second hold on okay just check the news and I, I couldn't find anything to be honest at all at moment at the moment there is really nothing happened not sure what's going on with the pound that's why it's a bit risky to trade it right now uh, we are going so far maximum to 17 pips of uh, loss but you can see the candle is, is it doesn't has that power to go more down the bullish the bearish momentum is not really that powerful at all that's why I believe the market will continue to go more up anyway and it's just to be honest with you honestly speaking I'm not sure what's happening with, with the pound right now I need to make more research about uh, if anything happened any news occurred but currently as far as I know there is nothing happened so what I will do is I will pause the recording again and I'll be back to you to show you what will gonna happen with these two trades and if I will close them in loss 
I will explain to you in a brief the reason why I did it and how we can recover these losses. So I'll be back to you. So what you are seeing happening here is really the good answer for those who support the stop loss or those who are getting nervous when they see when they see the trade going against them. That's why you didn't see me getting nervous when I saw the trade going against me. I was still convinced that the pound has no reason to this uh, fall like that and eventually it will go up again after hitting the support level exactly as I told you. So it's really important that you keep your your uh, you stay calm when you are trading. Now I'm going in a really good profit and I'm going to close all of them. Uh, just give it some more dollars. I want to close all of that uh, above $400 exactly like that. Yes, close, close, close. And this one. Um, I will keep this one running until I see what will gonna happen. But to be honest with you, I think I will just close it with this very tiny small loss. So in the end, I was able to reach this account to more than $400 and I have reached my target for the day. Oh my God, look at that, now it's going down. So anyway, I'm really glad that this happened right in front of you for the pound. The pound had no reason to reverse like that, to go down. And since you are analyzing your trade on the four hour chart, just be sure that your analysis should be correct. And if, if the candle go against you like that, stay calm, don't rush, don't put any stop loss. I'm really glad it happened because this is the best answer for those who support the stop loss. Because if I have placed any stop loss there, it would be hidden by now and I would have lost money for no reason. Because now after analyzing the candle, after checking the news, I was really sure that the market should actually reverse. I kept my eyes on it just to be sure what's going to happen. And thankfully, it was good trade. So, yeah. Uh, in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.